never click start streaming. I'm very good at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Yeah, you need to click that button in order to start your stream. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Moon Dog is running a pretty standard box. Other than Shelf, but there's a fair amount of AoE. I guess maybe D Blitz a bit strange too. Yeah, I'm not sure about the delay. Like delay is usually what you run when you um, play a like first hand Hilda box, because normally she's okay versus Landius and Juggler, but it's not really good versus Hilda. Yeah, I agree totally. Um, Delit is pretty much just a glorified support versus um, Hilda, so you can't really attack her. Yeah. Also, the first band Kruger is. Pretty obvious that you that Boondoggy was trying to go for the Shafaniel pick because I think he's probably trying to bait out uh, Rosalso first pick, and Rosalso is really good versus most of his part except like the the Shafaniel. So um, it's good for Dan J to notice that immediately and more for the Sigma and Shafaniel ban. Yeah, I feel there's not that much debuff in Dan J's box, right? First band Kruger doesn't really need to happen, I'd say. Yeah, I don't think you need to first band Kruger either. Like, there's no, um, you know, like, no Bozo. Yeah, and um, well, I guess she does have all the other big debuffers. Um, the bot, like Moondoggy bot is some sort of like, it's kind of like a hybrid bot between, between like single target and, and AoE. Um, personally, I think for this season, I prefer a bot that like focus more on one thing instead of like going for a more balanced approach. Because it's gonna be like really hard for band pick when like you go like half this and half that and opponent just ban out your obvious combo. Yeah, I usually lose games where I'm forced into picking an AOE and a single target DPS, so I, I, I'm not yeah, a big, I, I'm not I a mean, big like, fan either. Yeah, I mean you you do need like one or two like good single target pick in your box or maybe like an assassin. Yeah. Just so you can you can switch your focus like if necessary. That having a couple long legs that are single target is really good for dissuading tankless play. So it's interesting that like um, Danger Jarena is not picking a healer right now. I guess it's because she still have like Licorice and Licorice and like Mario up. So um, it's not like she desperately need in need to pick a healer early. Yeah, especially if Moon Doggy is going to play AOE strats, then Liko is just fine as a healer. Her healing tiles are really useful. She has Mass Protect and Mass Resist for immunities as needed. Yeah, um, if I'm if I'm like Danje right now, I would ban um, Aaron Rod and Juggler because right now, like that's, those are the only heroes I can actually combo with um, Himiko. You already secure the Hilda. You don't really need to worry about Gitlet or Elwin or even like Tensei Jessica. Yeah, I agree. If you remove Ari and Dog, then pretty much you could go AoE T Jess, but I'm not sure if I agree with the Tensei Jessica ban, because I don't think she does much versus Hilda and you can ban like Chuckler. Um if you and you not if you don't ban Chuckler right now, you can ban Chuckler later if if Moondoggy pick up like Tensei Jessica because that's like the only obvious combo that Tensei Jessica can do. Yeah, um, I feel I felt that Dog was more threatening than T Jess, especially when you already had Hilda on Dan J's side. And yeah, I figured Moon would pick that up. Yeah, like Dog is a pretty obvious pick here. That uh, he oh. go for the Deadland. <laughs> I'm not sure I like the Deadland. I'm not really seeing what she's gonna do over Dog. Yeah, so from Boon, from Danjay's side right now, like Elwin and Juggler has to go, right? Like you can give double again to Moon Doggy because I don't think like he has enough like good carry right now to make use of the double again. 
but he's gonna give the Elwin, which is okay because you have the Burn Aura and you have Hilda. I thought Dog was an interesting pick. Um, this game's gotten weird. Yeah, I think I think Liko or I think Liko is really good. Yeah. yeah. There's a really solid AOE combo there. Yeah, so from the band pick so far, I actually like Genji team a little bit more because um, I think the focus is more clear to me because from Genji's side, it's, it's very straightforward, right? You want to combo Juggler and Bernhard and uh, Licorice AOE with the again from Liana. But uh, from Moondoggy's side, I don't, I don't know, like, there's no clear win condition because you want to like Elwin will be very hard for Elwin to get with double tank, especially when there's like a burn aura and, and Yoda. And I'm not sure if the Dilit and Mimiko can do much here. Yeah, I mean Dilit could just straight up die attacking Hilda, but I guess Moondoggy does have a solid way to kill Dog, but that's assuming Dog goes out of tank range to begin with, right? Yeah, and uh, it's just uh, I guess like. Just did it and Liana, and maybe you can be fired against like the debuff, but like not when they throw like a sword down as you and follow up with a juggler jump. That's like pretty hard to recover, and you you can't really like throw Nibiko forward either because like if he get she get a double AOE combo, she will die. Yeah, um, it seems really difficult for Moon Doggy's team to deal any damage to Dan J's team because of juggler and Liana and Liko too. So, Himiko's not really going to do much. She can't push because of Hilda. Dispelling Guard is not that solid of a win condition because there's two tanks. So, it, it just seems really tough. Yeah, it's going to be like, he's probably going to try to like dispel the Guard from Hilda with Elwin and Himiko and maybe try to pick up that... Uh, Danger has like enough tool to counteract um, the combo, so... Um, but we'll see, like, like Hibiko can always, like, just block something and, and uh, take over the game. Yeah, that's why I've been banning her pretty highly recently. Also because I fight Landius, but... Screw fighting Hilda. I'm, I've been thorned enough. So Noobie's mentioning that Bernhardt on Danjay's side is pretty dangerous to Hilda, and I agree. Um, Hilda's definitely a way to get through eventually. Yeah, I think Bernhardt is kind of oh. dangerous to like everyone on yeah. Bernhardt's side right now, to be honest. <laughs> Bernhardt, is, like, Bernhardt is just dangerous to everybody, period. Yeah, even even like the Deadlit, like with this soldier, will not be able to kill to get through the... the Werewolf, I think. Yeah, no. Like, that... you need to go Unicorn. Like, Unicorn, you can actually kill Bernhardt, but I don't think you can get to Werewolf with, like, heavy infantry. Yeah, d -Lit's troops attack before she does, animation-wise, so she would definitely need Unicorns. I don't think there's a chance that hell those heavies can kill those Werewolves. And I also have seen, like, a lot of Elwin actually fail to kill Werewolves. Uh, Bernhard. <laughs> yeah. The, the aura is definitely no joke. It it really hurts your troops. Even if it doesn't hurt you necessarily, although it does hurt Ellen. But like, even d -Lit's troops, like Unicorns... I've seen d -Lit fail to kill Burn even, with Unicorns. Yeah, yeah. It just, I guess it depends on the build, and then, ironically, if you run Guardian Infantry, then he probably just definitely tanks. So, the other thing I want to point out is that um, Moon doesn't have a lot of way to deal with a juggler jump. Like, except from, because he doesn't bring push on Hibiko, and he doesn't bring ram on Hilda. Um, to be fair to him, like, like juggler and Hilda, like, Hilda also prevents juggler from being pushed away, so... You probably think there's there's no point in bringing them, but uh, I would still bring them just in case like Chakler jump forward too far from Hilda Aura and you can push away, push him away. Yeah, you can move, Danjay can move her Hilda up closer and get the displacement immunity, so you can't push the dog away anyway, but you should definitely 
still have the option available because if he goes in early and Bernhardt's in a range of something could kill it so with this positioning I think Moon is setting up for Himiko to go in next turn for 3C I'm um, not sure it's gonna do a whole lot of heal because like uh, Danjay has Licorice and Liana and Licorice is just like mass heal and, and cover at the 3C from I think I'd like it better if Lico saved mass heal and I was also thinking about yeah, mass yeah, resist think... you, you... Yeah, I don't think you have to mass heal there either, to be honest <laughs> Do you, like... uh, you can definitely save it like just because there's a chance like Hibiko just come in and you can trade like trade the mass heal cooldown for the PC. It's like really good trade. Yeah. Do you like mass resist on Liko here or do you think she needs to run Dark Despair? Uh I think Dark Despair is fine. It's like give her like some uh AoE combo potential and you have um have Liana with uh Gospel, so yeah. I don't think you really need uh, mass resist. Like to be honest, if like um you just need to gospel your own Liana and should be fine against Kimiko. Like, provide she doesn't steal your gospel. Yeah. You know, I, I agree with that. Fair points. And Ligo would certainly rather have Mass Heal than Mass Resist. But uh, from Moon side, of, um, from Moon side, I think not having something like a mass protect might be really costly against a burn heart because like even with Deadlit and Liana they they can just dispel the the, the sword gain and then heal the whole team so it's dangerous if burn just go in and and juggler follow up with the jump yeah sword dance can be pretty deadly you can also bring sky archer for it but i don't think moon brought either i think he's just running gospel act again Um, I feel that Danje could have pushed up a bit more, like... Yeah, I think I think she can be kind of part to be a little bit more aggressive. Like, it's not like uh, Moon can actually threaten threatening her team. I think she probably just kind of like overly cautious against Yimiko. Um, but I think with Hilda, Liko, Juggler, and Diana, like all of them have so many ways to punish, punish the like just struck off the Yumiko and then punish her like don't think you have to be so afraid of her yeah I agree um if it comes down well I I don't think this game will come down to a center fight because I think somebody is going to die before then yeah I, I mean like if, if it is actually in like center play I think Dan J would just like take over because in close combat like Bernhardt, Juggler and Liko is like really really, really strong especially for mid fight yeah I do feel that Danjay's team is stronger when it's in the fray. I have a feeling she's trying to kill the Juggler, but not sure if it's gonna kill when there's burn around. But he act again like um, early, so it's probably what he's gonna try to do. Yeah, um, that would be probably attacking from the left of Juggler to the top of him. It would have to be the top because he has to hit Hilda, and I don't think that's going to kill either. And Ellen can't get another hit because Dog's in a good position. His guard will get dispelled. Yep. Just, I think, like, from Danger um, size, she just need to park the Bernhardt forward, just so, like, Elwin will always be in his aura. Uh, or, to be honest, like, he, if if Elwin go in right now, he's already in like yeah. uh, Burn Aura anyway, so yeah, should yeah. be fine. Um, I did. I think Danjay's Hilda has tank priority. I'm not sure. I was thinking that Lego yeah, spot she... could be dangerous. I mean, like, what is what are you gonna do to Lego? Like, uh, selling technique. <laughs> If 
if he if he like use the CC right now on all three of them, like uh, and then Elwin cannot hit the juggler because Hilda's gonna start everyone. Yeah, newbie has the tank priority. He says she's got first. So. Yeah, I remember like uh, her, her. She was like um on the upper row, so she should be the one with like card priority. This does not really accomplish much. Um... Yeah, it's a non-bracer dog, so <laughs> it's actually silent. Huh. But uh, it's not gonna do much, to be honest, because like you just remove the guard from jungle. Yeah, I mean, Liana is just gonna heal the dog. I, I, I just feel that could have been more valuable on somebody else. And now I don't think you can even hit the dog with that one. Yep, you can. Uh, actually, you... Uh, yeah, you can. Uh... Like the... I think the only play that maybe you can make is try to dispel with Elwin. Uh, dispel heal the guard with Elwin and then attack the juggler. But to be honest, I don't think this deal is gonna kill either, so... Not sure why he sealing technique the dog there. Like to to be honest, like if there's someone that you should be sealing technique, it should be liquids. Yeah. So I I don't think this will accomplish anything. If if it's right, then yeah. And the other thing is, uh, no, Moon does still have turn prio. I guess if Hilda's guard gets dispelled, you can try to snipe Elwin. You mean trying to snipe burn, uh, burn. burn, yeah. But yeah, um, Bernhard just no. Killed. I think yeah, Burn just gonna kill. Him. There's no way this Elwin gonna survive. <laughs> yeah, not injured like that. So that's one of Moon Dog. That's basically Moon Doggy's only win condition killed. He can try to kill Burn, but um, I'm not. I don't think it's gonna kill. And and Liko can just like dark despair, and then like all of his win cons kind of disappear with that Elwin charging in. Oh, uh, and Hilda's guard didn't get dispelled anyway, but she does get a kill. Here you probably just dark despair. Yeah, I'll just stop his pressure. There's no, not really a threat. And honestly, that that delit could still die if Hilda Proc thorns. I mean, to be honest, like even if Hilda die here, it doesn't really matter, right? Because you you still have Jaffa, and and this I don't think this uh, delit's gonna be able to handle both like Liko and Bernhard. Yeah. Stan is wondering, do I go in demonic advent mode? Which I think you should. Really? I think I think you just like up despair normally because Jilly has like the gospel anyway, and you kind of want to heal Yoda back a little bit more. Um, I guess it might be greedy. I was thinking maybe you can get a silence on Liana or something. Mask will work too. I think Mask will work too. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why D-Lit sucks versus Hilda. A 50% HP Hilda counter-killing D-Lit. You don't even have to yeah, swap to Cav. With, with Deadlit dying, I don't think there's a way for you to handle these Burn and Juggler. To be honest, like, I'm not sure... Well, like, if Diddy actually doesn't die to Thunder, like, she will die to Bernhardt, normal attack, right after that anyway, so... Yeah. It's, it's kind of like a suicide mission. So now, like, Danji just need to, like, stall until Juggler can actually use his skill and combo three AoE. Or just, like, God block Hilda and with Burn going in to kill uh, Liana, and basically GG. 
Yeah, um, DJ is up a unit, which means you can never respond to Liko AoEing you without spending an action for it next turn. You're constantly playing from the back foot. Um, it's... And just Team Echo can't kill this team. It's, it's pretty much that simple. Yeah, like... What are you gonna do now? Like, if you move Himiko, like, she just moved Liana, and... If you move Liana, then she just move Liko. Either way, you're gonna eat, like, a free AoE. <laughs> and uh, now would be a very good time for Liko to go into Dark Mode. Yeah. I mean, Moondog does have the center, but I do not think that his team can last that long. Yeah, I don't think this Hilda can even last this long against uh, Bernhardt anyway, especially when you you are like you have up an unit and have like act against advantage. Yeah, this is a Mjolnir burn too, so he'll really chew through those buffs. I'm not sure what uh, Danger was trying to do with that Lico normal attack. Um, yeah, it didn't seem to accomplish much. I mean, Windwall did proc. Maybe she was hoping she can save the Lico 3C for this uh, Himiko AoE. That's a little awkward though, because the ninjutsu debuff could roll silence if you use Demonic Advent, right? Yeah. I think it's like a 25% chance. Mm, but there's a Liko Ties, so I think it should dispel after it's uh, it is go up. Yeah, Juggler locks down the team, and at this point, Burn has his pick. If, even if you heal Himiko, um... Burn should still probably kill her. Yeah. Her talent is on cooldown right now, so I think this... I mean, this blocks Burn from punching Himiko until Liana It doesn't moves. matter, right? Because you can just receive with uh, with Liko and, and you're gonna, like, either Liana gonna die or Himiko gonna die. Like, Either of those die, it's just CG, GG. Yeah. I would just like, yeah, I just kill Liana. An easy kill for Emperor Burn. What doesn't he kill, man? <laughs> and now, like, you can just act again, Burn, and kill Himiko. <laughs> doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, she did get silenced, but it's a um, Bracer. Yeah, it's, it's Bracer Liko, so... She got double silenced. <laughs> that's, that's why... Racer is core on Liko, like, you, you never want your Liko to get silenced. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you're fighting debuff with her. I mean, here we go, yeah, can't even run. GG. Yeah, GG. Just no way you can... You can win from this position. Damn, he! I, I went to my no peeking screen. <laughs> I'm toxic. He hasn't quit yet, actually. What's up, Wink Rebo? Yeah, um, not that I am faulting him for it. But I think I think Burn can still can just sword down here and finish off Kimiko, like, even with her talent. Just... Dandre actually brought um. Hegemony. Oh, she had. Oh, hegemony. 
that's fine then, because yeah. this hill that don't know. Yeah, sure would be nice if um, Hilda had RAM, but this is just me talking. <laughs> so yeah, dead Himiko. B-Shock probably kills the Hilda, then Burn gets acted yeah. again. Um, Burn might not kill yet, but... Well, you had all your time in the world to do anything you want right now. Like, I think maybe Moon is trying to use this time to... Like, thinking about his strat for the next game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's something like... A lot of people do when they are down one game. Like, it's, it's a good thing too because like sometimes you just need to collect yourself and, and think about the band pick and then like, you may be playing better after like twenty or like thirty minutes. Like some people just like start slow and then uh, gradually grow into the game. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Um, players should do whatever they think they can do to get an advantage to win. As long as it's not cheating, obviously. <laughs> yeah, game one. GG. Yep. Okay, so we go to game two. Um, Danja was running right a pretty balanced box. I don't think she really needs to swap anything. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think Moon might go like either go for the more commit to more single target or like go full AOE. Like that's what I would do. But uh, I'm not sure if he has any like good unit to change. Um, he does really like his shell fan, though. <laughs> so I, I kind of doubt he will kick her right now. It's an interesting uh, mage shelf, I guess, for Mortal Light. Yeah, I think it's for Mortal Light and... Um, I mean, like, maybe Bracer. <laughs> I do agree with Newbie that Moon's box doesn't seem particularly well equipped to fighting Hilda. Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat? Um, uh, I didn't catch Newbie was saying that he thinks Moon's box needs to ban Hilda. Yeah, I think so too, because, um, like, I don't think he has to ban, um, um, Rosen Seal, right? He doesn't even run that many deep up. Yeah. Because, like, what he's, he, what he's trying to do is just trying to, like, occupy center, and, and, like, most of his units are built for, like, center control, so you just need to ban Hilda and, and commit to the single target, or, like, commit to, like, the people who go against Juggler or Rosen Seal. Yeah, I agree. I think. Yeah, this, this I think in this this uh this meta like Rosen Seal pretty much like just dictate what you fight and like, what you want to do. Like if you if you go like you either go like first ban her or you just completely ignore her. Yeah, the thing about first ban Rosen is you only really need to do it if you have a bunch of debuff in your box, because then that probably means you don't have enough single target to be able to trade favorably versus tankless. Yeah. Okay, so he go for the Yulia. Which is pretty good. Um, I think you... Danjay only had like 3 debuffer, right? So he already banned the two annoying one, um, Kruger and Himiko, and he think that his, his like, Plethora of like 
cleanser can handle like green if, if Danjay actually pick it up. But Danjay opt for the Tensei Jessica and Jackler combo. I think that's a really good pickup because she also banned out Hilda and Landius. So that means T just should yep, have free it rain. Is. It is. Uh, I think from Moon, uh, Moon point of view, like what I would do is if you want to end up with the Juggler tank, you should have banned Elwin and Tensei Jessica before he pick, like you like heading toward that direction. Because if you don't, like you're just gonna end up like fighting Tensei Jessica or Elwin with a Juggler, which is like very dangerous. Yeah. Um. So Moon probably has to bring Great Dragon Barrier here, but. You can just three C dog in place as Danjay, and this use and just tell just eat him and just go and kill whatever you want. This Yulia won't yeah, die. Yeah, and yeah, and and Green is actually still up as well. Like Danjay can just ban out something like Liana and Dilith and go for Green. Yeah. Or like even just ban like Liana and Chloe and then go for Green, but he's she. He banned Shafanu. I don't think you need to ban Shafanu right here. Yeah, um, you could pick Rosin as Danjay, I guess. Um, Dog should be enough to mostly heal through the shelf, though. Yeah, also, like, if you if you look at Moon box, like, um, Shafanu and Yulia kind of occupy the same role, right? Like, I mean, they do play differently, but um, for what he trying to do, like they fulfill like the same carry road, like just sit mid and <laughs> kind of like kill everyone <laughs> slowly. Yeah. So I, I think like from from that point of view, view like uh, from from Moon point of view, like he probably not gonna pick up Shelf New after he already got the Yuya. So um, I would just ban like like two healers and pick up someone like Green or or even Bernhard is is great. Yeah, Burn's very effective against Dog, too. Especially Dan J's Mjolnir Burn. But he go, uh, she go for the Ares. Like, um, Ares and Tensei Jessica has a good combo together where one of them can pull someone out of position and then follow up and kill. Yeah. Ares will also keep Yulia in check. Yulia can't just move forward outside of tank safety or else she just gets popped. Yeah. To be honest, like I would just ban uh, Sigma instead of um like maybe not she she probably trying to commit to the Juggler kill, that's why she banned O Ladies. And Tensei Jessica is a good ban anyway after Juggler is picked up. But um, I don't think any of her units can actually handle Sigma, so Sigma would be a really good pick for Moon here. Yeah, Winged was saying that he thinks Moon should have picked up Oldius instead of Close. Yeah, I think so too. Like, he has like, um, healer. A, mid a mid team, yeah. I agree. Yeah, so he does go for the Sigma. Um... Sigma's a pretty good win condition here. It is like he actually check um, control a lot of the threat from Aris and Sensei Jessica pretty well. And if Danjay pick up like Green here, he can still like mark him. Yeah. Like Sigma doesn't need to mark Sensei Jessica or, or, or Aris to kill. Like he just need to get into pre frame. But if like he can guarantee kill a Green, like I think even on defensive terrain, as long as he has an attack buff. So is a really good uh, catch or pick from, from Moon. So getting d lit fifth was also pretty good. Um, gave Sigma an attack buff. Yulia will like to like, too. You, you mean like give uh, Yulia the attack buff? <laughs> yeah, nah, fair enough, fair enough. It, it'll, it'll come back think, up pretty think, fast. Uh, yeah, I think he's definitely going to get Yulia. Like, you cannot afford the Yulia to get even. Yulia gets the first one, but Sigma might get the second. Yeah, maybe he get lucky with um, Sigma unique here and don't really have to. So what I would do with Danjay is I would try to use the again on Liana turn one to switch the turn priority because I think her team works better as player two and Moon doesn't have any again and he doesn't even have a long range engage either. So like you can you just sit back and wait until like Liana 
uh, act again cooldowns back up like you can set up really easily with Liana, um, Reen, Ares and Tensei Jessica. Yeah, um, I love giving over turn priority turn one. Usually the best time to do it. <laughs> um, you don't want to be in the middle of a fight where they can get some sort of response by using your act again later. And it's pretty easy to just have it back up on cooldown. So who do you think t -Jess should be sniping? That's actually a pretty good question. Like, um, to be honest, I think like either Sigma or Chloe is a good target. Like, even I mean, like you can actually snipe Jaguar maybe if you get like damage buff from from Ares or uh, you attack him like when his water or his um, faction buff is down. But. Uh, I don't know if this t is strong enough to kill this juggler. It's also very dependent on troop training, and I know Moon um, juggler, uh, Moon has max, max training, so... Yeah. Um, as long as, like, um, I think if... if um, I think Danjay is from a very new server, right? So maybe her source will not be able to punch through this lobster. If, 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 um, if there's no um, magic... Um, like, magic defense, uh, buff on juggler, I think um, Tensei Jessica can snipe, but otherwise, like, I wouldn't go for it. Juggler brought um, Origins of Light faction buff, actually. Yeah, so I think he probably had to wait until, like, either one of the water or one of the magic uh, defense buff is down. Seems awkward, but I guess with the t teleport combo, you're never gonna... Anything can always get sniped anyway, but I, I, don't, I, don't know if, I don't know if I agree with that still. Because at okay, least... So he, tried to, he tried to mark Tensei Jessica, which I think is not really a good target for marking. She's gonna be in the back line, so it's very hard for you to reach her like and you need you need someone to take care of this ring like i don't think julia or like Gilla is gonna be the one to to handle this ring so it's had to be sigma it does look a little awkward for danje here because uh moons ended up with gospel julia and dog is your tank it's gonna be a bit rough as soon as Yulia reaches, anyway. Yeah, so, Denji got a Tenjo Breeze on his her door, but uh, <laughs> I don't think she's gonna engage anytime soon, so yeah. it's, it's, it's just a night bonus. Because um, there's Deedlet and Yulia combo, which could probably cut through this dog pretty easily. This dog brought werewolves, so Yulia might just one-shot him. Yeah, I, I don't think Scott can tank uh, Yulia at all. There's literally no faction buff for him. Just kill everyone around Yulia? It seems like it's gonna be difficult. Could try to go in with Ares if he's even in range. He's not. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it anyway. Yeah, so like both players actually play very conservative for turn one. Um, I think like Denji kind of want to get like four stack on her Tensei Jessica first before she yeah. actually boop up. And, and Moon, I think, is trying to stack the immunity from, from Chloe and wait for the unique gear on, on Sigma. I can see T-Jess sniping Sigma, but 
she's probably gonna die for it, right? Yeah, she will. Don't think she can tag Yulia at all. Could maybe tank Deedlet. Probably not. I'm thinking with her 3C damage reduction though, it seems possible. The thing about um, Jessica is I think you need like max range on her to not get the counter damage from Sigma because I think she is like 4 range, right? Yeah. So you have to be like a 4 stack and um, genius stack to not get the counter damage to kick off the, the, the 3C effect. Yeah, that's a really good point. I guess the one thing the mark is doing is it reduces TJS's range. Like, if she wants to kill this D-Lit, Sigma will still probably be in range to teleport on top of her. Yeah, I think I think what um, I'm just trying to address in what Winged said, like, if you have, like, the magic defense buff on Jessica and her sorceress at full HP, then yeah, you can you can actually tank D-Lit, but I think without the... MDAP buff, uh, I don't think she can tank with it. <laughs> yeah. I think I like I think I've ended up liking Moon's comp a bit more. Uh, he... I think it's a lot better than the game one, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> uh, he has a pretty clear win condition now, which is the Yulia, and this, the, he has an answer for most of the thing that um, Danje can do. But I think Danje also have a pretty good team as well, and yeah. can definitely make play. Dog probably has to, Dan Jade's dog probably has to go in on a turn when Yulia has already moved to try and do something effectively with that. I think there is a window here, like where you can teleport Ares forward, and Sigma would be wouldn't be able to snipe him, and Ares can actually threaten both Sigma and um, Chloe, and you have to choose to save one of them. Yeah. The problem is this is um, Angel Ares, so I'm not sure if this Ares can kill <laughs> um, Last Ride um, Chloe. Guess it depends on if he's Ragnarok or not. And then it depends on if this close is Bracer or not. But yeah, like like I said earlier, like with this combo, you really want to use the act again turn one. Like um, usually in band pick, like uh, you always want to have an act again over your opponent because um, like you can because it's help a lot with like switching turn priority. And so if you when you got an act again and your opponent doesn't, like you have to make sure that is it is always on your favor, like instead of just like saving it like being too conservative with it yeah Sigma's playing so far away is he in yeah. range of Ares? he might I think he might even wait out for the for the Reen transformation um Reen transform last turn yeah, it seems a little premature. Yeah. To be fair, though, like, he can always teleport the ring. Uh, she can always teleport the ring. Yeah, I guess Dilit dies. Yeah, she can She can attack it. Yeah. It would be a very good kill. It's actually free. <laughs> it's 
Sigma does just barely reach, but that's a trade, too. You probably have to use Aerie. Yeah, he could try, um... He could try the Wind Sight. If it's Twilight Star Sigma, it should definitely kill. Yeah, I, did, I didn't catch the um, Sigma range earlier, so I, I thought... Um, I thought, like, um, she would actually be safe, but, uh, yeah, I guess not. But you can kill the Sigma, right? Like, um... Yeah. I don't, I'm... I think, like, Aerie Tweezy should kill the Sigma. Because, uh, he dispel. It'd be nice if it was Rag Ares. He could just go on the fort, kill the Sigma, not use anything in retreat. That's... Yeah. I, I would still use the... Um, Noble Charge. I don't think you yeah. need to... Conserve, conserve the skill there. Yeah, that's that'd, that'd be totally fine. It gets minus three cooldown when you kill with it, so. Yeah. It's gonna be like a two for one anyway. And, um, the, the skill does come back very quickly, and you, you don't really need that. Um, because kinda now your main the... carry is gonna be re. Yeah. <laughs> kinda need it for the Yulia. But. You can you can also be shot with, with Jekyll, I think, but yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to. It's my kill. The that's, thing that's about if you, kill. yeah, the thing about if you fish shop, then like Moon can just jump in and lock out the juggler, and then like Yulia, he will have like turn prior on his turn, and then Yulia can reach the juggler. Oh wow, it doesn't. Yeah, kill. it doesn't even kill. No buff, I guess. It, no, the, the, the dog has buffs. The dog needs to go to the gym. Yeah, that's why. That's why I think. I think like using Ares to kill is, is better. Like, you don't really need Ares just zoning right now because, like, they all under, like, Jackal Guard, and, um... You don't really need the Noble Chart, like, um... for the upcoming turn anyway. Yeah. And saving saving the Beast Shock and all the... the, the, the drop Jump is always more valuable. What if Ares dies to the counter? Well, I don't think he'll do that if he attacks with the I, I don't think... I don't think he'll die to the counter because he did that dispel, like... Three costs, and he and he's gonna attack on wall. Yeah. He just he just need to dispel either the the EMB buff or dispel, you know, like the um, counter damage buff. I almost yeah. I think I would have liked it more if Danjay just disengaged, and that was the entire plan. You just run Dog back, you wait for Yulia's Gospel to run out, Ares retreats after killing Sigma, and then Yulia's stuck running after you. I think you can still attack Sigma here with Ares, like, yeah, without using any now. skill, and just, yeah, and just, and just oh. retreat. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine too. Save a skill, but, uh, Dog might die. <laughs> Yeah, I would say Danjay's dog is pretty dead. She can still act again. I... You can like actually like um, using yeah. Ares to go in and then use act again on Reen or on your own dog. Yeah, you could actually on the dog and then um, Reen's on a forest with pretty good troops. Against this, Yulia will only have range discipline to hit this Reen. I think Reen should tank that. Yeah. I would be very disappointed if <laughs> Reen could not tank that. Yeah, there, On a forest. <laughs> there is a bit of a uh, training gap that could be said. The problem with like this Jackler right now is he can run, I can jump either. Oh, this Ares can actually attack Yulia now. I think. Oh yeah, that's probably GG. Um, this dog's is also blood. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait a minute. I think it's still, still have yeah, one turn card. Yeah, dog can't reach. Never mind. The reason that dog didn't kill that Sigma is because it's blood pack. Dog should kill that Sigma. Streams having some issues. Hopefully it stays. Not have or hopefully it doesn't have more issues. Yeah, this 
I think I think um, can this juggler uh, jump reach? Yeah, I think the 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 stream froze. Yeah. It'll it'll hopefully get itself back together. Um, dog can't jump on top of dog. Yeah, yeah. I, I was. Uh, I remember there was a ten degree, so I I think it's, it's ran out. Yeah, I, I thought it was still there. So if it was still there, he can just lock the the chapter. I'm not sure it's gonna. This not gonna kill. There's a amped up up on on Wien. Yeah, juggler on Moonside probably needs to jump in before he does anything with with Yulia, because you don't want Ares to just go in and kill her. Probably Dog needs to go in on that port, right? Yeah, it's not gonna kill. And now Yulia's I think, dead. Yeah, I think, I think Ares has to go in now. Like, just like move back one tile, use PC, and go onto the wall and attack her. Yep. And then there's basically no wood condition for Moon Doggy. Um, slight mistake. Should move one tile back, but this should be okay yeah. anyway. Yeah. Gotta respect that Ares. Yeah, the Angel on. <laughs> That's TG. Oh. So. Yeah. GG's, congratulations to Dan J for advancing to the round of 32. Better luck next time to Moondoggy. Um, I think I think Moon shouldn't have gone in there. Like maybe he thought he would kill, but I'm, I'm not sure. Um, like I think the the attack buff on Julia ran out that turn, so he thought like if he doesn't kill right there, like he's never gonna have a chance to kill that that green. So maybe he's kind of like. Uh, a gamble. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I still think that Dog probably needs to hop in first, and then you'd have a much better shot. But, um, yeah. Thank you for joining me on the cast, Sui. Do you have any closing statements to make? Uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, this was a pleasure. Anytime. Casting. It was it was very pleasant. And, yeah, that'll be the end of my stream. We'll have more matches later, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.